You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. As the Omicron variant of COVID-19 continues to spread across Pike County, case numbers continue to climb and what Pike County Health Director Tammy Riley says is the single largest day increase. Our numbers have definitely escalated. Um, you know, I've been watching them for several weeks, expecting a surge. We saw a small bump after Thanksgiving and an additional one after Christmas, but we're definitely in a, an uptick of new cases. Yesterday we hit an all new high with 154 cases in one day. So that's an incredible number for a county with our population um, and size. Um, so that's quite concerning. Um, you know, yesterday we had 12,887 cases. Today we have 13,041 cases. So we're definitely starting to see that exponential growth that we saw early on in Delta. Even while the Omicron variant may be considered less aggressive than its predecessor Delta, Riley adds that Omicron's infectivity is higher and still taking lives. So when I looked at mortality, we had 189 deceased uh, for Pike County early um, in early November, so prior to the winter holidays. Um, we, we saw some bumps, uh, some additional you know, new cases reported, and we've gone from 189 to uh, 229. So we've seen an increase of 40 deaths in just around eight weeks. So that's approximately five cases a week. As COVID-19 cases stand, Pike County's positivity rate has increased to 21.25%, meaning one out of every five people tested is positive for the virus. Additionally, while the priority is to keep people out of the hospital, Riley says current case numbers are concerning. Oh, absolutely. When you see a surge of 154 cases in one day, even if disease severity is less, just having the impact of that many numbers uh, of infected new individuals, you're going to see a certain percentage become very sick. So the more numbers that you get in new cases, when that, when that new case number elevates, um, even with disease severity slightly less, it still is a threat for healthcare systems, which means, you know, uh, potentially uh, overwhelmed ICU occupancy, uh, ventilator occupancy, um, overwhelmed staffing uh, capacity. Lastly, Riley adds those who are positive for the virus, albeit tested professionally or at home, to follow recommended quarantine guidance. You know, my number one advice would be get vaccinated. There's ample vaccination available and it's free. When you compare the cost of vaccination, which is free, to the cost of missed days at work, uh, worst case scenario, hospital stays and, and medical, um, medical expenses, uh, it's really in everyone's best interest to seek vaccination. Uh, but it's also not too late to get boosted. You know, all of us have the potential of waning antibodies. Um, the CDC recommends, um, you know, at the five month mark to uh, seek vaccination, uh, boost to get boosted after five months uh, for the mRNA vaccines and then two months after Johnson & Johnson. So it's not too late to protect yourself by either getting boosted or to seek that primary dose series um, initially. If you have questions regarding the Omicron variant or if you would like to get vaccinated, you can call the Pike County Health Department at 606-437-5500. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.